and Fabiana Espinosa ready to guide you on another journey of Connected, your bilingual space. I hope you had a great week and I hope you feel great and ready to have some free time and to enjoy your life the best way possible. Today I have a new guest and a new topic and we are going to start with the, with the interview pretty soon but before I want to remind you that, uh, well, and this is something I wanted to make it clear. Abby Ayala channel, you can see us through TV here in Bolivia, but if you're not in Bolivia, we have our sign on Facebook. So you always, all you gotta do is find the Abby Ayala, at Abby Ayala on Facebook, and we are going to be there on the live stream option. Also, we are on Twitter and also on YouTube. relates to different aspects that always made me very curious uh, and in order to make you uh, understand it or in order to make you get in the mood of the topic I really need to kind of put your mind in three different aspects it's always good and I think it is probably the future of our species to recognize that we are made out of three things which are the mind, the body, and the soul. I say this because I always hear people saying that they may not, they don't have time to spend uh, time on understanding how they feel or understanding what hurts, what doesn't hurt, or if they heal or not. We go through life uh, always just trying to cope with our obligations and to be better with our families and to help others. But most of the time, we, we just forget of that part of us that is necessary. And also, I think that the word therapy doesn't always sound good to people. But what if we come with a new type of therapy? And I'm not only saying a new because it, is, it, was, it was not uh, known before, but a new, it is new because it collects, it compounds all of your different aspects as a human being. So I say, have you ever heard about Cosmo Magic? This type of therapy, it's already on in the world and it's been helping so many people. And also, there are several people that are devoting themselves, devoting their life to help others through this type of therapy. Do not go anywhere. If, you, if you've heard before about cosmotherapy, stay around because we are going to meet a great therapist. And if not, we are going to clarify as soon as we come back. Don't go anywhere, stay connected. Welcome back, connected people. I want to thank you for remaining connected with me. For the people that are just arriving to the show, I want to tell you that today we are going to interview Bernardo Sabalaga. What does he talk about? He brings a new approach to certain type of therapy called Cosmo Magic. Have you ever heard about this? Well, whether you have or not, today we have him here with us and he's going to explain everything about it. Before we go ahead and meet Bernardo, I'm gonna let you know a little bit about his background. Bernardo was born in Cochabamba, Bolivia. Right now, he currently lives in Buenos Aires. He has a bachelor's degree on social communication. Also, he studied theater and movies in the Superior School in Lisbon. He also has an advanced, advanced practice on uh, acting and he also developed a speech in drama and university in London. All of his work, he has this circuit where he goes showing his work, which is in Brazil, in Argentina and also in Bolivia. Along to his work and his career, he has developed also this, um, this lifestyle and also it's part of his work as a holistic therapist. 
I am more than happy to have him here today and it is a pleasure for me and on the side I am very curious about it. So Bernardo, welcome to Connect and thank you for being here and to spending time with us. Well. I am, I'm gonna put myself with everybody else. I am not very clear about what is Cosmo Magic and what, what, how can we benefit from it. So my first question will be, what is Cosmo Magic? Uh, hello, yes, thank you for the interview. I'm very pleased to be talking with you now. And also I'm very happy to be able to maybe broaden up my horizons and uh, um, spread the word of what I do. And actually, this is not, not something really new. It's just a different way of approaching um, a very old subject, which is, uh, let's put it in this way, is a, a way of co-creating our life. So what does this mean? This means that uh, um, what I teach in a way is to understand how we um, develop our awareness of how energy works. And in the way that we develop this awareness, we can broaden up our perception. And when we expand our perception, we can understand how we are creating or co-creating our life uh, with other people, with other humans, and but also with uh, other um, expanded ways of thinking the energy, which is the universe. That's why this practice is called Cosmo Magic, which is cosmic co-creation. The magic is uh, a word that I, uh, in a way, um, learned from old practices, uh, which is the magic practices, but uh, to talk about this uh, term that I'm calling co-creation, which is the way we create our lives. The way we uh, right. co-create, the way we manifestate in, uh, the energy. Right. So basically, we would be we would start we would start from um, accepting it that there is energy around us, right? Because I am assuming that every every single person from any type of um, practice or beliefs can actually benefit from this. Am I right? Well, the the beginning point or the start point will be to uh, not, well, you can accept it or not. This is a fact. Everything is energy in different grade, in different uh, ways, variations of vibration with every uh, in matter uh, and all that is around us that we can see or not is energy in different ways of vibration. So this means that you don't have to believe in anything to understand that you are amongst a multiple uh, world of vibration. This is to start off. You can, you can live your life thinking that it's randomic made. This means that you can uh, sort of like live a life that it's set up upon yourself and you have nothing to do with it. Or you can live your life understanding that you can do something about it, which, is, which means co-creation and that you can uh, develop some kind of um, skill to participate consciously in the creation of your own life. I yes, see. this is, a, can you understand? So in, it is, I, it's something that I really relate and I, I think it is, it is very understandable. And I think it, if we give it a little thought, it's, it's in our nature. It's basically what we are. Um, can you please tell us what are the symbols and the tools you use to do this work? Okay. The first thing to understand is that we have a vessel with which we walk in the world. And this vessel is our body. Our body is like um, kind of like a machine that takes us in the world and uh, this machine is interconnected with the cosmos, interconnected with creation. So in a way we have to understand that this body is vibrating signals that we send outside ourselves about what we want to live, about what we want to attract, about what we want to create. Sometimes these signals are sent uh, in an unconscious way. So the idea of one of the, the beginning of the practice is to understand how to send conscious signals instead of unconscious signals. So because there are sometimes that we live experiences that we have no idea where they come from or uh, that we have no idea why we are living it. 
and that means that it, we sent the signal that we wanted to live this experience in an unconscious way. So it comes about and we are really stressed, really sad, really worried that this experience is uh, happening to us, but we don't know where is it coming from. So this is the first thing. Understand that we have a vessel that is our body, that we have to adjust it in a way that we have to be conscious about it, that we have to understand how it works, that we have to understand how it's interconnected with everything around us, that we are part of creation. This is the first thing. The second thing um, is uh, the idea that we can open up gateways to magnify and intensify the flux of energy that I call gateways and that we can open them and close them. This is the second tool. And the third tool is that we can interconnect with this conscious uh, library that is called the web, crystal web of the planet Earth. And then once we connect with this web, which is a library, we can download any piece of um, information that we need to live our lives. Those, these are the three main um, uh, tools that I teach. Yeah. Is it understandable? Am I being clear? You are being more than clear. No worry about okay. that. It's just, it's a lot of information to yeah. sink in, <laughs> but it is, it is all clear. Um, okay, so let's move forward. I'm curious to know, how did you incline for this type of therapy? What, what triggered you? The therapeutic part of it, it's, uh, of course, it's in there. Uh, it means that it heals you in a way that you are not feeling disconnected or isolated from creation. It means that you feel that you are part of life as a, as a world that is created and that is working, that is all encompassed in the same um, consciousness, that we are part of what... I'm, I've always been a very sensitive person and this means that I, since I was a child I had dreams and sometimes perceptions and sometimes visions and sometimes experiences of somehow being in other world. Somehow being sort of like with one leg in this world and then with the leg, another leg in a different kind of like um, um, dimension, let's say. So this is one of the main uh, triggers that made me um, pursue and research about what would be these other dimensions, what was there uh, around me that I was feeling, that I was seeing and that I was uh, kind of like experiencing, but uh, that maybe I thought I was being only a weird person. But after a long time of research and experiences and traveling and living in many countries, I came to the conclusion that this was common to many people. It was not only me that was having these kind of experiences, but I could relate to other people. And uh, when I understood this, I started bringing on this uh, otherworldliness of my experience to this world. So in a way, it's, it's, a, it's a, an, an exercise to kind of like merge two uh, ways or three ways or many different ways of perception that I was uh, carrying on since I was a little boy. Right, and what I want to rescue from this, uh, you raised a beautiful point, which is maybe we, some people have this type of experiences of dreams or maybe visions, but you just along the way forget about them. So just really fast and as a quick question, what would you recommend, for instance, to a mother that uh, listens to a son or a daughter that comes and makes a comment about uh, an experience like that? What would you recommend? What would be the best way to help this little young person in order to understand what's happening and not to just put it on the past and forget about it? Yeah, the first thing is never react with fear because then the experience that maybe is not fearful could become a fearful experience for the kid. So the first thing is never react with fear, never try to uh, put meaning into it. Sometimes we as adults, bring our ideas we preconceived ideas about these things and so we ch we kind of like charge this experience of the kid with extra information that is not there so the first thing is right. never act with fear then don't put extra information over the top of it the, sort of like bringing new lectures to what's happening try to be as simple as and calm as possible and re really take it as the most natural thing in the world 
and then the kid will be able to understand that this is a natural thing that he or she doesn't need to be as scared or afraid of what's seeing or experiencing and then talking about it as a natural thing can help him or her uh, keep on understanding what could be after it exactly what i want to go next because as you said before um, every time you had this, with, with the time, you started to read and to learn more things. So, what are your influences? Where did you, where are, what are your sources of knowledge? In the 2000, the beginning of 2000, there were these uh, online con um, nets of people that were talking about the new era and uh, about uh, channeling information. And this was the first uh, way of approach for me. I, I received a lot of information online. It doesn't exist anymore. So uh, it was called uh, Light Network. Uh, this was the first um, kind of like a school for me where I could read about things that uh, for me were only just in my imagination or my experience, but I couldn't put words to it. Then we, uh, when I grew up, I started reading uh, some um, anthropologists that were studying um, some kind of all ancient cultures in uh, many countries, in Brazil or perhaps in Africa or uh, Polynesia. And this also made me understand many of my experiences and perhaps not uh, as, as facts, but maybe put them inside a broader picture. So I could understand them inside kind of like the myth and what it could be meaning uh, for what other um, cultures, uh, ancient cultures could have thought about these kind of experiences. I started reading about shamanism. I started at this moment when I was starting to understand this, I was living in London. So uh, there I, I started with people that were um, studying shamanism from the um, Celtic uh, heritage. So this was the first approach when I started reading, reading and studying and thinking about this as an adult. Then after that, I, I live outside Bolivia for 16 years now. And uh, so in 2015, I decided to come back to Bolivia and stay there for longer because uh, I wanted to reconnect with my mother uh, country. So I lived there for five months and in, in these five months, I connected with a lot of therapists and uh, practitioners of ancient culture in Bolivia. And uh, so this also may, uh, gave me a lot of information about how to honor the earth how to honor the elements, how to uh, communicate with the invisible. So it also gave me a lot of knowledge and a lot of understanding of my place in the world. Sometimes uh, for people that are not from Bolivia, it's really hard to understand how Bolivians, we uh, relate to Mother Earth and how is this uh, uh, very strong and very direct communication with uh, the, the land. Uh, so for me, it was a very, um, very rich um, way of uh, coming back to it, coming back to this like childhood memories or w w sometimes in maybe my family when we was carnival, there is this uh, kind of um, celebration, this kind of practice that is called Chaya, that is a, a connection with Mother Earth uh, through a ritual. So I, rem I remembered all this, this came about, you know, because it was away so long. I forgot about this uh, very natural way, very simple way of connecting with these uh, uh, the elements, with Mother Nature, with our lives. Bear, I'm gonna come back with the last question for you. Right now we're gonna go to a cut really fast. People at home, stay connected, we'll be right back. Thank you for remaining connected at home and as promised, I am still connected with Bernardo and the last question for him. Bernardo, please um, tell us, in order to kind of like understand more in a more practical way, I always believe that the best way to um, give and show an idea to somebody is through an example. So I wanna ask you, can you please share a story with, with us, like an example of, of how does Cosmo Magic work in somebody's life? Um, this is a very broad question, but uh, the most practical way of explaining it is, for example, 
Uh, some people uh, need to practice in their lives. For example, the main, uh, one of the main issues that comes about is confidence. A lot of people with confidence issues about being trust in their lives, trust in their, their work, trust in uh, with how they're managing, how they're fulfilling their mission in life. So uh, one of um, the ways of putting it, putting cosmic magic into practice is opening a gateway of connectiveness with the with the energy and uh, in this gateway you can practice the energy of confidence so you download in a way and this is very contemporary use of wording download this uh, energy of confidence that comes from a higher vibration and put it in your body and exercise it so what would happen after a while that you practice confidence is that one day when you need it you're going to be able to access it because your cells your body remembers what confidence vibrates like so this will be an example of how you come back to it if you need it you can trigger it again in your system because your body your cells your system remembers how confidence in a higher vibration uh, sounds like, vibrates like. It's a very practical way of coming back to feelings and emotions that you need. Sometimes you don't have them naturally, that you need to develop in your life. Confidence, self-love, for example, um, joy, uh, and, and anything, anything that you really, really need to, in a way, incorporate. You know, sometimes we don't have right. them incorporated. Yeah. So basically, or a person that will actually have some type of problem or issue in order to perform their lives every day. It's just, yeah. and I believe that is why it's called a therapy, correct? Yeah. Because yeah. back in the day, if we will have this type of issues, basically we will be sent to the psychologist or psychiatrist mm -hmm. or get some kind of pill and right and manage it from that way. So now it's, I see that this is a very um, interesting and not only interested, but uh, it's a way to approach the problem, but with counting all different aspects of your life. You count your mm -hmm. past, your energy, your body, your soul. It's something that it's um, definitely a new way to in encounter uh, our own problems. Bear, thank you so much for the information you have given us. It's invaluable. Seriously, we not always uh, get the chance to have somebody close to just tell us about these beautiful things and to actually tell us that the answer is on ourselves. So I'm going to ask you now to please um, tell people where can they find you and be able to learn about uh, more about what you do or maybe even contact you and also just leave a hello here to, uh, to, the, to our audience in Bolivia. Yes, I would like to thank you a lot for this opportunity. It's been a pleasure talking with you. Uh, I feel really blessed by this chance. And uh, for the people who want to know a little bit more about my work, I have a Facebook page that is called Cosmo Magia, Bernardo Zavalaga. They can go there, I have videos also. I have a channel in YouTube that they can follow there. Uh, if you go to the Facebook page, there are links to my videos on YouTube, so you can look to more material of what I talk. And um, I think uh, th this will be enough for now. And um, thanks again, it's been a pleasure. And I'm really, really happy to be able to uh, expand the message of uh, how we can feel the interconnection and uh, change the awareness of how we live and how we can improve our lives. Thank you very much. Thank you, Bert, to you. Always be well. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. All of the information we just heard, it's a lot to sink in. Also, it's a challenge because we can keep uh, listening and hearing things and we can just pretend that we never heard it or whether that it doesn't, it's not applied to us, but that is not the case. So I definitely encourage you, and I as always do, use the powerful tool that you have, that is the internet. 
go there, find there, even more if you have kids or if you have people around you that are struggling with some type of uh, issue or some type of obstacle in this life. Let's not waste any more time because there is help and there are people that are getting prepared in order to help us like Bernardo does all day, every day and with his work on each therapy. I remind you then I will see you again in seven days and if you know somebody that is doing something great for the world or great for yourself for themselves or great for their community please do not hesitate and contact me I will be happy to connect with you and to let the world know what are what are people doing what are the beautiful new ideas and new things that we can help each other with stay connected and have a great week until next time